I think when it comes to finding that identity for your shop or salon or anything like that, it's kind of, you got to look at your branding, what you put out on social media, maybe what's the extension of your personality, what type of things you like, what type of things do you think the customers would like in the area. You might already have a clientele where you know the age range or, or the demographic that they are, but then you've got to think about the people that are going to walk past the shop and what they're going to look in and think of when they actually see you. I think when it comes to things like online advertising, which I've done some specific to the the sm like targeted at the small area around my shop. What I like to focus on is word of mouth and recommendations. So I like to keep the service standard quite high in the shop. So I know that when people are coming to the shop, they're gonna be going away and telling their friends. And that's essentially how we built the first shop. I think social media is a good tool for any business to have. I think it's a good reference point for, for people to check out what type of shop you have, what type of haircut you do, what the interior is like, what services you offer. I think when it comes to hiring staff and making a team, I always wanted to hire the best barbers that were out there, but that didn't necessarily work out because with this crazy influx of barbers within the industry, there comes a lot of people who are all chasing that social media um, status and fame, which is totally the wrong way to go about our industry because at the end of the day we're here as service people to offer a service and make people feel good and that's going to continue for a long long time so what you need to do is hire people over skill and then if they maybe are unskilled in certain um, areas of their work you can always train them and get them to become better barbers but yeah, my advice would be always to go after people with a good personality and a good work ethic first. So what it is, it's all about education by letting the client know that if they use this product, then they're gonna get the look that they want to achieve. A lot of clients are uneducated in the sense that they bring in a reference picture and they say, I want this hairstyle, but it's a picture of a hairstyle that's gonna require a blow dry, you know, a styling spray and then a, a finishing product too. So what you really need to do is just educate the client, show them the product, let them feel it, let them smell it. And then at the end, just suggest like, would you like to take this product home? Would you not? If they don't, it's fine. If they do, great.